What's going on, y'all? I want to talk to the brothers. Can I talk to the brothers real quick? What's going on, brothers? What's going on with y'all? How y'all doing? Peace and blessings. You know what I mean? Hope y'all doing right. Hope y'all eating healthy. Hope y'all training. Hope y'all, you know what I mean? Living your best life, man. I want to bring something to your attention, man. Our women don't feel protected. Our black women do not feel protected. I saw a vote um, on this um, YouTube channel, Man on the Wall, and they had a vote on asking women, do you feel protected by black men? I believe like 76%, 75 whatever said no, nah, and like 25 whatever said yes. But look at that number, look at that ratio, man. They don't feel protected, man. And this thing, this is thing called toxic masculinity, which is it's really a thing, man. It's really a thing when you you feel like you own your woman. You feel like she's supposed to do this and that and the third, that you have these type of rights and she doesn't. Come on, man. Chill with that. But then you want to chase after her, but then you get hurt when she go off to another man, when she leave you, when she done with your ass. You want to get all butt hurt. You want to go run, chase, oh, I love you. Start crying and bullshit, man. Watch yourself, man. Because if you don't believe, if you don't think it's an issue that our black women don't feel protected, then I'm going to tell you something, brother. You done failed your mother, your grandmother, your sister, your daughter, if you got one. You done failed them all, man. Most, you failed yourself. You failed yourself, man. And, you know, for the, for the brothers who understand, man, for the brothers that be like, you know, you know, these black women, they just say niggas ain't shit. Uh, you know, they, they just use this for our money. Blase, 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 blase. Let me tell you something. I always say that a woman is, is going to do what a man... It's only going to... You know what I mean? What a woman is only going to do what a man allows her to do. And a man's only going to do what a woman allows him to do, right? Listen to this right here, right? Man? Only what the other person allows them to do. If you allow a woman to use... If a woman's using you for money, you allowing that to happen, dogs. If a woman's playing you, you allowing that to happen. You ain't got no standards. You ain't got no backbone. She don't see you as a man. She see you as a weak little boy. And she's going to take advantage because she has to self-sustain. She has to self-sustain. She probably, she hungry out here. She, her father probably left her. Niggas probably cheated on her, doled her out. So she, try, she doing the best thing that she can in this new era. And they got a lot of opportunities out here. They do only fans and all that shit. Woman, shorties on. Remember back in the day when it was the pimps and they had them on the corners, and shorties had to get all the money that they was fucking sucking for. They had to give it back to the pimp who was just dead, just collecting and shit, right? And they just got a little portion, got to look nice, get their hair and nails done, whatever, but get beat in the process. Women ain't got to go through all that bullshit no more, dogs. They got way more. They see they power, man. Pussy is power. That's real, but and and we're supposed to lead. And I think that a lot of men misconstrue that they take that and and they take certain scriptures of the Bible and, and Quran and they they use that to manipulate and control their household, man. And it's not healthy. They're not raising healthy children. You know what I mean? And they poisoning our women. You wonder why women saying they ain't shit? Cause a lot of niggas that don't fuck them over, man. A lot of a lot of niggas that don't fuck them over. A lot of niggas that don't lie to them. A lot of niggas that didn't use them. A lot of niggas that had babies with them and left them. So, and uh, you know what I mean? What do you think they're going to feel they worth? They're going like, damn. And a, a lot of times, it be a man that a woman really believed and really loved. And then he fucked her over. I done been in that situation as well, man. I ain't always been, you feel me? I done been fucked up. I done done some fucked up things, man. That I know have caused women to think differently of themselves and allow different certain types of men in their life because they feel like, that's the only thing they're worth, man. And we have to own up to that. We have to accept that we have been damaging, man. We have not been protecting our women. That's like our ancestors were, man. They were doing that, man. It was fighting. They didn't play. They did not play, man. It was a time period where they did not play about the women. Men was more militant than they are now. And I know there's a lot of distractions, man. All this fucking social media, celebrity shit, false idols, man. That's the thing. And that's what I tell women, man. These men don't have real father figures, man. They don't have strong men idols like Khalid Muhammad, Malcolm X. They don't have that Tupac in the music industry. They don't have that image to look to 
and have that guide them in the right direction. You feel me? And even when I mentioned Tupac, people are like, well, you know, I know, I know a lot of cats that's, that's been locked up because of Tupac. It's because they only listen to one side of Pac. There was a whole nother side of Pac. And right before they killed him off, he was going to embrace that whole other side, that militant side. He was working with Khalid Muhammad. They was going to build an army with, with uh, Doug Life that's going to train young children, women, and men how to, how to defend themselves properly, how to feed themselves, bring proper education. That's the part, of, that's the side of Tupac they don't want you to know. You feel me? But we ain't going to act like that didn't exist. But it doesn't exist right now in the present era out there in the media feeding the positivity that these black men need. Only really a lot of times, or really, no, recently all they've seen is, they, is, is these so-called celebrity leaders getting locked up to, for molesting women, raping women, beating women, um, doing a whole bunch of bullshit, man. Just, you know what I mean? Not in the right head space, man. That's the only image that's out there. So if you hate the narrative, and I don't like the narrative either, though, niggas ain't shit shit, then be the change yourself. And that's something I had to learn myself. We have to be the change, man. Don't argue against it. Be against it. Live it. Be faithful to a woman. Love a, love a woman. Love a black woman. Be faithful to her. Guide her in the right direction. Show her that you're strong. Give her faith in you and in, in the men. And then she could tell her sisters. And then her sisters could believe in it again. And with their faith, they could attract that energy. But women also, man, you gotta, if you want, a lot of y'all be like, I want this type of man, with this type of man. If that's what you want, then be the type of woman that that man should be with, that man deserves. If you want, if, if you're saying you don't want this type of man, this type of man, then you must be deserving of that type of man. It's like he should be deserving of you. It's vice versa, man. So if you want an honorable man, man that's going to treat you right, love you right, be faithful to you and all that, have that image of a faithful woman. Show that. And that energy that you put out there is going to attract it back to you, man. You got to be what you want, man. A lot of y'all saying y'all want this and that and the third, but y'all not resonating with the shit, man. Y'all false advertising y'all beliefs, man. Y'all false advertising yourselves, dogs, man. I see that shit all the time, man. And I'm like, wow. Like, I see certain people that be like, um, this is what I really need. You know, I need somebody that's going to, like, you know, ride with me and, you know, make, you know, make me happy and, you know, support my happiness, not bring me down, whatever, whatever. But then they still have issues. They're not, you know what I mean? Either they, 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 they always angry, you know, not nice to people, you know what I mean? Not open, not friendly or whatever. And they show it because a lot of people show their personal lives, man. Even when you may speak to these people, you see their energy. You know what I mean? You can read it, man. And I'm like, how you expect to attract that when you giving off something else? So watch what you giving off because that toxic nigga, that nigga that's, that ain't shit, you probably ain't shit either. You feel me? So get yourself together and you ain't going to attract that ancient nigga. Now back to the men. It's crazy because there was an incident a while back in Florida, right? Where a black woman was being assaulted by a white man at McDonald's and her black co-workers were just watching, man. And a lot, I'm, I'm sure you can see this. There's a lot of instances like this, man. Even in the streets, you know, see fight videos with black women being attacked and men just watching. Yo, come on, man. That's why they don't feel protected. It's right there. The evidence is right there. Why, man? It's like you don't have no respect for your mother, your grandmother, your sister, your daughter, whatever. No female in your family. You have no respect for them. You don't love them. Your mother didn't care for you. Your mother ain't feed you. First of all, bring you into this world, give you life, help you come into this world. Your mother ain't do all that. Help guide you, teach you, buy you food. Like, what's going on? Why do you hate women so much, man? And I understand now. Now, let's talk to the ones that didn't have mothers like that. That didn't. You'll have daughters. Maybe you'll have daughters one day. Maybe you have a sister. How you treat a black woman, is is that how you expect your sister to be, be treated? Is that the same worth you have for your sister? Is that the same worth you would have for your daughter if you were to have one, if you don't have one already? 
use that as an example. If you say you have a toxic mother, and I know people do, I know that exists. But I just that's no excuse to just dismiss the black woman, man. That's your counterpart. It's not the white woman, it's not the Asian woman, it's none of them. I mean, now we want to break it all the way down. We are completely one human race, but there's a clear reason why we are different, dogs. I don't, I don't talk about the climate and all that other shit. Language, uh, yeah, it's a difference. There's a reason. There's a reason that you that's your brother and that that's your blood brother and that's not your blood brother. That could be your brother, but there's a reason why that's blood and that's not. There's a need, reason why you your nose grows a certain way that other races' nose don't grow alike. Reason why you may have certain abilities or certain advantages that others and other race may not have hair advantages, skin, whatever. There's a reason for that. You're a black man and your counterpart, your twin, your partner, your fucking rib, your right hand, your soulmate, your twin flame is the black woman. Period. So protect her. No, let her know that she's protected. All right? We all need healing. She needs healing, man. Yo, you got to understand, man. Back, back, back in the day, man, they used to rape you in front of her. They used to rape the black man in front of the woman. They used to torture her because all she knew was you as her protector. Before the, before the colonizer came and took y'all, separated you. Like, like, Matt, like yo... We don't push these babies out of our womb. So it's like, it's a different connection that a woman has with a child than a father has with a child. So when somebody takes away a child from a mother, you know how hard that scars them, how deep that scars them, how, what that does to their spirit? It breaks them, man. This is generations of broken pain, man. Broken heart, man, that hasn't been healed. Families that have never been brought back together we're all broken, man. We need healing, so be patient with each other. Talk to each other, listen to each other, hear each other's pain, man. Let each other cry. Man, it's okay to cry. I don't give a fuck what anybody has ever told you in your life. I don't give a fuck where you from, dog. I don't give a fuck, Queensbridge Project, Red Fern, Far Rockaway, Charlotte, Shelby, any, you know what I mean, uh, Durham, whatever, Chicago, Atlanta, LA, I don't give a fuck where you from, what hood you rap, what gang you in. It's okay to cry. It's okay to release that pain, man. You keep that inside, you 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 you, you, you fucking you, you you what can I say? You you drowning your spirit, man. You drowning your soul, man, of sorrow. You drowning your soul full of sorrows, man. That's not your body you can't function right. The old system is just out of order, man. You start stressing more, getting sick, losing weight, gaining excessive weight, sluggish, angry, can't control your mind, your temper, all out of whack. Why are you doing that to yourself? A lot of us do it, man. I've done it. So I know. And I freed myself from it. So I want to help others who are also stuck in that place to free themselves from it as well. So they can see. I want you to see and hear somebody that you can relate to that's like you. That is you. Let you know there is a way, man. Let you know you're not stuck, all right? People out here love you, man. But you got to love yourself. That's what we want to help you do first. Love yourself. Can't protect or love anyone else if you can't love yourself and protect yourself. You don't see yourself as valuable. That's number one. The reason why black men are not protected, black women, they don't feel like they are protected. They don't feel like they're worth it anyway. So why? Just fuck it, right? No. It's an issue that our women don't feel protected, and it's an issue that men just feel like they ain't shit. That they're just dogs and that they're not worth anything. It's an issue on both sides, man. We need communication. Let's work on that. All right? I hope this gave you something, man. I love you.